Good morning YouTube, it's good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. A very quick intro, which is more of an outro actually. This video is basically just going to be a little trip to Wales with a couple of good mates on the 250RS thing of beauty, which is wearing new clothes, because the old clothes are on this RS, which was blue, is now black. Was black, thing of beauty. Trusty Rusty is now blue. But anyway, yeah, trip to Wales. It's going to be quite long, and it will be very dull if you weren't there. So it's not intended, really, as a video for other people to watch. It is just a way of me uh, putting a video online that myself, John and Simon, that were the guys on the trip, and our respective friends and families can watch. So, as I say, it's not really... Um, it would be very interesting if you weren't there. But the Thing of Beauty RS, there you go, excuse the wire, um, the last one caught fire, that is on the video. The fire isn't unfortunately, but the event is. It's a bit grubby, because it came back from Wales yesterday. 320 miles in one hit, and it performed beautifully. Because it's due to rain today, there was rain due on the route back. So... While we got back early and everything was running nicely, I headed back early. So, that's that. That's the, sort of the intro. Um, if you do fancy watching a very long, boring video, then watch it. The only thing is, for some reason, my camera has quite a long fire up. Um, I don't know whether I've changed the setting. So there are times when I start talking, it's obviously I've been talking for a few seconds um, rather than pausing. So I'm going to have to look into that. So if it does cut from bit to bit, you know why. But yeah, collection of memories rather than a film. Enjoy it if you watch it. Um, if not, there will be more trusty, rusty RSing about stuff coming soon. Take care. Good morning, YouTube. How is everybody today? Oh, just realised my audition's still on. I was just in my brake lights. Pop that off. Well, look, all packed up ready for Wales. I'm going to be leaving fairly soon. What's the mileage? Uh, 9776. Don't know if you can see that. And uh, they reset the trip meter to zero because I've just filled the tank up from some cans. So, the RS, the thing of beauty, is now blue. Look at that with a genuine Honda 250RS fairing. <sighs> Painted the frame, that's no, not the frame. Painted the fuel, uh, fuel block, I'm going around the bend today, aren't I? Engine, the engine, painted the engine. So we're all ready for the trip. Now I did put the crowds of panniers on, which are there. Um, but they looked a bit bulky and I don't really need the luggage. I'm only away for five days. So got plenty of space in the Krieger, tools and spares in the top box or what have you. That's just a jacket for a, for a mate of mine that I'm meeting on the trip. So that'll be coming off for the ride. But yeah, the RS is ready to go. Blue, my favorite RS color. And the one that a friend of mine, John actually had in uh, 1985. In fact, John is the guy in the middle there for our 40th tour, which is what we're going to be doing now. 40 years of riding motorcycles on the road. And all the blue came off of this bike, which is another RS that I bought, which I know looks just like the Thing of Beauty, but it isn't because I've swapped everything over. And you can probably tell. I will be pinching the wheels off of this because they've got stainless spokes and a nice cush drive on the back. But yeah, swapped all the bits over so the, the screen that was on the Thing of Beauty RS, tank, bodywork, etc., is now all on this. This is the seat that was off of this because there's a little hole in there. And I wanted to keep as many original parts on this as I could because obviously it's nice. I'll pinch the Hagen shocks as well. Look, yeah, nice. But I've kept my forks on. Because although the stanchions are a little bit pitted, they, they're really nice. So unless I rebuild the other ones, I'll be keeping those. But yeah, right, day one. 
and in typical typical UK weather it is drizzling it's been raining all night but hey that's what waterproofs are for so I will catch you later somewhere along my trip I've got 200 miles to do today to Simons in Worcestershire and then uh, what have we got about 100 odd to our first night in Wales which will be tomorrow I reckon the trip's going to be somewhere between 900 to 1,000 miles, which would be lovely for this. A hey, thing of beauty. Right, take care, YouTubes. Catch you soon. Well, as you can see, it's still raining. Um, I didn't put the camera on the helmet on the motorway because it's pissing down. I don't know how reliable these are for waterproofness, but yeah. RS has made it. Just over 110 miles to reading services but it's looking a bit grubby now so it's quite warm today it's very humid so i've got stuff drying on the side there and uh i'm all ready for the next part of the journey so i'm just gonna take a base layer off because it is quite warm and humid as i say i was actually getting pretty warm on the motorway even though it's pissing down so right let's get a layer off waterproof's back on and crack on towards Worcestershire. Catch you soon. Right, just a very quick update. Fuel economy. So I've done, you can see that, 109 miles. I've put in 6.09 litres. So I'm just putting in the calculator now. So that was, that's 1.34 gallons. divided by 4.55. So let's clear that. So 109 miles divided by 1.4. We are doing the best part of 78 miles to the gallon and I have been sitting as near as damn it to 65 miles now the whole way apart from when I've been hitting temporary 50 mile an hour limits. So, yeah, I'm not going to complain about that. Yeah, if it keeps on like that, I'll be very happy. Right, back out into the crap weather. Catch you in a bit. Obviously I arrived safe and sound last night in the pissing rain, but here we go. CB250 RS and Simon ZX7R. Just about to leave Simon's house in Worcestershire and head towards Wales. I will put the camera on my helmet so you will get a bit of footage. And then we're meeting John in Wales on a DR350. Weather looks good today, unlike yesterday. So there we go, catch you in a bit. Hey YouTubes, you join me now, we're mobile. Just travelling through the lovely little village of Upton upon Seven. Got some nice tunes playing in my ear. I've got my oldest mate in front of me on a motorbike. Going to meet another old mate. It's not raining, life is good. So yeah, just in front of me is Simon on his ZX7R. Now we've been friends for Coming up to, believe it or not, 50 years. Uh, we met at infant school and we've been friends ever since. He was best man at my wedding, how about that? Uh, but unfortunately we live, we live a couple hundred miles apart now but we still see each other, uh, well, as often as we can really. But it's one of those relationships where you, um, let me just switch my music off. As nice as it is, a bit of massive attack. Um, it's quite loud. Uh, yeah, we don't see each other as often as we as we would like to. But cheers, mate. When we see each other, it's like you saw you know you saw each other the day before. It's that sort of friendship. Um, you know, you just you just carry on where you left off. It's almost the same flipping conversation. But anyway, this is I suppose day one proper of uh, and Simon's leading the way. I've got no idea where we're going. This is. Um, Day one proper of the Wales tour. <laughs> what are we doing? You alright? Oh, Minge Lane! <laughs> uh, let me just get a shot of this on the video. I made some stickers up for the trip. You can see one of them there, 40th tour. And uh, 
Simon stuck it on Binge Lane. Perfect. I just got it on the video. <laughs> uh, I wonder why he was stopping. Superb. Right. Let's crack on. There's a nice little detail there. See that the RS, look at that turning circle, eh? feet up, just cracking on. Lovely church there, not that I'm religious, but. So yeah, this is uh, day one proper. I mean, yesterday was my travel from Kent to uh, Worcestershire. And then today we're on to Wales, where we're meeting up with John at a hotel in Wales. Hope to do the Ponderosa Calf either later today or tomorrow morning. I've never been there. So we're hoping to do that. But yeah, it should be a good day. So uh, I'll bung the camera back on as and when if the roads look interesting. Otherwise you'll just be, be waffling shit as usual. So yeah, take care. Catch you soon. Job done. As you can see that's brimmed. That was 5.74 litres for 104 miles so that's actually better than last time but then I did uh, leave the motorway a little bit earlier I'm gonna guess that's over 80 to the gallon 5.74 litres 104 miles I'll work that out in a minute all right back soon you won't hear that I'll just work it out you never know Shut up. 1.26 gallons so if I cancel that 104 divided by 1.26 equals 82 and a half to the gallon that's not bad is it eh? that's not bad at all I can live with that nice right off on a twisty route now following the old Tom Tom go ride let's see where it takes us catch you soon just a very quick one we're in a little lane in the middle of nowhere but I'm about to clock over 10,000 miles on the trusty rusty although uh, starting to look a bit less rusty obviously with the new bodywork the new blue bodywork squirrel nine 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 probably said too many nines there here we go and we're just rolling over can we see that 10,000 miles happy days genuine mileage 10,000 miles barn fine bike so There'll be a few more than that by the time I get back from this trip, but I thought I would record that for posterity. These are some little lanes. They remind me a little bit of Kent, but with a bit few more hills. So, right. Catch you later. Cheers all. Want to find the button? I've only put the camera on quickly here because we're towards Shelsey Walsh, which is the um, hill climb. I guess there's something going on today because there's a lot of cars parked I don't think we're going to get in for one minute uh, are we going around this? yeah, that's that there looks like there's some sort of trip look at that, Shelsey Walsh I think it's something like, is it the oldest single use race track in the world or I could be wrong someone will correct me but there you go I had no idea where it was but here it is it's here look at that speed climb doesn't say it just says it's got forthcoming events but yeah I'm quite happy we've got past that right as usual back again in a bit cheers stop so that's why I put the camera back on we are Ironbridge or just outside Ironbridge in I guess it's Shropshire and there's a uh, as you enter on the what is this the A that's the B4373 yeah where it says uh, the Forester's Arms Le, Le Bene or the Bene there's a little ca cafe there called the, the Honeypot Cafe well worth a little stop did some lovely biscotti cake and a nice latte so uh, yeah that was what I put the camera back on just to mention that so carry on, we're going to see if we can see the Iron Bridge in Iron Bridge and uh, take it from there. That's a nice little wave from the owners there. 
but yeah recommended if you're passing that way worth a stop all right let's see if we can see the iron bridge if we do i'll put the camera back on but simon who's behind me uh, said he's been to iron bridge and he still hasn't seen it that's in the past so you never know right catch you soon uh, i didn't put the camera on in time though but it's behind me about 200 meters um it's a big iron bridge that's painted red there you go if you want to have a look at it have a look at a photo on the internet but yeah it's a big bridge painted red iron bridge there we go and so the museum of the gorge there's some nice little things here um obviously we're not stopping we just had a quick coffee but yeah it looks quite uh it's like quite a nice place um and now we're heading towards i don't know where we're heading towards now still towards wales which I don't know how long we're going to be before we get there but we're just meandering through the lanes now which is quite nice Let's see where it takes us I never press that button properly do I? I've got a nice bit of dire straits in my headset I'm just chilling along seeing what's happening waffling away enjoying life right let's try hit that button again see you soon oh tom tom go ride look at this smashing down the lanes here <laughs> little single track obviously it's flooded here at some point judging by the crap but i mean this is fine on the old thing of beauty that is a 250 rs oh 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 but poor old simon behind me on his uh is an x7r it's probably thinking what the fuck is going on but hey there's not a lot you can do when when you've got an app that chooses a route well, we did press super thrilling but uh this is definitely more a 250 rs route than a uh, zx7r route but in less than a mile we're turning off i've got a feeling we're in wales because i have seen some signs that look like they're welsh I think Oswald Street, that's in Wales, isn't it? Welsh Pool's definitely in Wales. I've seen signs for both of those places. So I think we're in Wales, but I haven't seen a Welcome to Wales sign. So uh, if I see one, I'll let you know, because it might be that we're not actually in Wales yet. But anyway, right, catch you all soon. ta -da. To hang on, we're going to go to the Ponderosa Cap. I just filled up, I don't know if you can see that, but that is brimmed. 97.6 miles and that was 4.88 litres so I will do a quick calculation in a minute but that's going to be a lot to the gallon I'll, uh, I'll go pay and then we'll work that out so 4.88 um, miles I've got to a tank I was trying to find out the other day because I, I, I don't know yeah and uh, I 0.88 uh, divided by 4.55 is 1.07 gallons so 97 divided by 1.07 equals 90 to the gallon 90 to the gallon we've all, we've been on um, little a roads and b roads so uh, that's pretty impressive geez 90 to the gallon Happy days. The old thing of beauty is cheap to run on a nice little tour as well. So that's good to know. Right, gloves on. We're going to head to the Ponderosa Cafe and uh, grab another brew. So uh, Simon's just kitting up. We're heading back here because our hotel's here for the night. Uh, Chambridge Hotel, I think it's called. So we will be back here later. thing of beauty look at that right zero to trip hey those of a certain age will remember that all right Simon's fired up so catch you soon well we're definitely in Welsh Wales now we're not far we're about a minute from the Ponderosa Caff and there were two routes that uh, you could take and this one looked the most interesting so obviously I took this route but again it's um oh, get out of the way sheep it's not a uh, ZX7R route is it? As Simon's probably finding out. 
and it's steeper than it probably looks on the camera hence low gears and lots of revs on the old trusty rusty thing of beauty so my sat never is telling me quarter of a mile destinations on the left uh, and then obviously after that I think we're going to do the, try to do the horseshoe pass whatever the horseshoe pass is we'll find out in a minute uh, is this the Ponderosa? it could be but I'm guessing that this isn't the yeah, it is the Ponderosa cafe here you go but I'm guessing this isn't the traditional your destination is on the left I guess this isn't the traditional route here we go we're here is this the only motorcycle parking? that can't be right looks like it is though there you go, motorcycles are here as well I need to lose my speedo Beautiful view. Uh, I'll tell you any other way because of the slope. It's a bit of a slope. What? Bit of a slope. I'm going to park the other way round. Here we go. So we're here, the Fable Ponderosa Cafe. Right, well, let's go see what it's all about then, shall we? See in a bit. Ponderosa Cafe. Very um, uninspiring, overrated. What would you call it? Um, a bit crap, I think. But hey, there you go. You've got to try everything once, haven't you? So we are now on the Horseshoe Pass. Although my sat nav doesn't seem to think that we're on the Horseshoe Pass because it's not even moving. So we're doing 38 miles an hour. And uh, yeah, we're off to the hotel, Chambridge Hotel in Langollen. That's how you pronounce it. Getting all inside later. Long Hill and Bends for three miles. Right, see you in a bit. After last night, John's with us today. The three amigos are all together. Now we were going to head off. Oh, by the way, Cambridge Hotel. Yeah, nice place. Um, if you're if you're in Plangolan, um, nice place. Um, yeah, there's a motor museum just down the road, but it's closed. So we're not going there. We've got all day to ride. So we're thinking about going to a 1950s museum. Oh. Might be good, might be quite crap, don't know. But um, yeah, we're all together. Um, the weather's not fantastic. We've all got waterproofs on because it's sort of drizzling. But hopefully it will improve. Let's just see John hooking his old legs over there. And we're there. Alright, anyway, let's get riding. You can lead, mate. <laughs> We've all got maps, and uh, all of us are avoiding leading because none of us are quite sure where we're going. But anyway, I'll keep you updated as we uh, crack on through the day. See you soon. Your lens are wipe, I think. Um, can't really feel that. Is that getting the lens are wipe? Yeah, it sure is. We just entered Trevor. Don't know who Trevor is, but we just entered him, all three of us. Uh, in a, we are in another 20 mile an hour limit uh, I mean these are ridiculous I don't know whether they're going to stay in Wales or not but um, the Aussie rooster mm, okay uh, but yeah these 20 mile an hour zones are everywhere in Wales uh, it seems like pretty much every 30 is now 20 and um, yeah it's just, uh, it's absolutely ridiculous. I'm still not quite sure the point of it. Is it road safety? I mean, I can understand it outside of school or something like that. But, you know, this is a, this is a wide road. You could cycle at more than 20 miles an hour down here. Uh, yet here we are, 20 miles an hour. I mean, you know, maybe the middle of town, pedestrianised areas, I can understand it. But, yeah, anyway, enough of my rant. So, um... I'm sure we'll be uh, pulling out of Trevor soon. Oh, we're turning off here. Uh, there's a big lorry. 
Station Road. Now I'm pretty sure John has not got a clue where we're going. In fact if he's watching this he's probably nodding right now when this goes onto YouTube. Um, I could be wrong but um, well, we'll find out soon. So let's carry on our route through Trevor and I'll see you all soon. Tallest viaduct in England apparently. Oh sorry a viaduct aqueduct. That's where we're going. And it's in Trevor. Trevor's got a big aqueduct. There you go, all right back to the bike. In Denby, I've not done any filming on the way because it was absolutely pissing down. At one point I swear we were in the clouds. It was miserable. So I took the camera off because I didn't want it getting wet with the um, media mod case. Um, but we went to Denby because there was a, uh, a museum in Denby and we thought that might be quite interesting but yeah it's fucking shut so we stopped at the car park had a natter had a look what it was about there's a castle in Denby so we're now going to head to the castle and uh, and we'll see what's there and if there's a cafe we're going to have a quick brew and then a wander around the castle because we've got quite a long time before we need to get to our hotel later so um, we'll do that if there isn't a cafe there, then the plan is to go back into Denby, find a cafe, have a brew, and then go back to the castle. So, uh, yeah, we will see what happens. So I will update shortly. Denby Castle was open. So we had a quick look round. We didn't go right in it, because you've got to pay £5.90. So anyway, we back to the car park, grab the bikes, and go get a brew in the town. We need it. Wet. Well, it's stopped raining now, which is nice. Let's go get a brew. Can't find a cafe. Can't find a cafe at all. They all seem to be closed or, um, you know, closed permanently. So the idea now is we're going to travel to Betsy Coed, where we are quite happy that there will be a cafe so that's 55 minutes from here so that's where we're going to head to hopefully there should be some nice roads We've got the old tom tom go ride on the twisty route now a couple of times when we were riding this morning some of the lanes were very small they were um single track with grass and mud in the middle which is fine on the old thing of beauty that is the rs and fine on john's dr350 but i'm not sure simon thought it was so good so let's see if the lanes are a little bit better on this route and at least it's not raining now so things are looking up happy days right might catch you either on a interesting little route or betsy coed see you soon a bit quiet i'm going to say that it's these 20 mile hour limits i mentioned them a little bit earlier but they literally are in every single small village that we pass through uh, to the point where you you hit a 50 you go to a 50 and you know I think there was one it was literally 200 yards later you were back to a 20 and um, yeah they are just there's a time and a place but quite obviously this isn't one of them you know this is a nice wide open road in a town this should be a 30 limit why is it a 20 yeah it's absolutely ridiculous but we are on the hunt for cafes we are looking for cafes is that a cafe no that's a news agents because obviously if we find one before betsy coed then we'll be stopping uh, but it's not looking promising it's quite a small village but yeah i mean there are places where this would be there's a school so that's fair enough that should be a 20 but places in kent where apart from the school this would be a 40 limit but hey I know there's been lots of complaints from the uh, from the Welsh about it but look at this back into a 60 or national change down and power all right laters a little coffee shop by the river there's a bridge I don't know if you can see that bridge in the background um, but a lovely little coffee shop there nice little latte bit of sort of caramel cake so we didn't get as far as uh, Betsy Coed so we're now going to head towards our overnight location which is towards Conway but by, via the, uh, the twisty route 
from um, Tom Tom Go Ride. So let's see where it takes us. We've got to get out of town first. Uh, I can't remember what this town's called actually. It's uh, it's all Welsh to me. But yeah, and then um, off to Conway, off to the hotel. And then hopefully a good day's riding tomorrow, which will be a bit drier because although the rain didn't spoil the day. It is nicer, obviously, when it's not raining. So, uh, yeah, out of town. Oh, here we go. This will tell us what the, what the town's called. It is called Llanrust. Double L-A-N-R-W-S-T. So if you're in that place, um, there's a bridge over the river, old stone bridge. There's a little coffee shop the other side, covered in green stuff. I think it's like Virginia Creeper. Very nice. Very old you oldie. Worth, worth a stop. So, um, right, let's crack on and let's see what Conway brings. This is the road we just came down to come into the village and it was a lovely twisty little route and we were going downhill, obviously going uphill on the RS with its 26 horsepower isn't ideal but it was a lovely, it's a national speed limit as well, it's a lovely little route. I've got John and Simon behind me somewhere. but. I thought I'd stick the camera on, just try and show you what some of the roads are like. Because some of them are really... Oh, look at this. I say that, though, to a fucking 20 mile an hour limit. Jesus Christ. Right. Scrap all that. I might as well turn the camera off. Nearly 20 miles an hour. Ah, hey-ho. Back to the Nationals. There's John and Simon. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Of the poor old Elsie, Elsie, God, blimey, I live in the past there. Poor old RS thing of beauty. Let's get out this road. Let's see what it's like. Because I remember we're well, coming down it. It's pretty good, but we have got a little bit of a uh, little bit of moisture in the air. So I don't think it's going to be too slippery, but you never know. But so far, it's been a good trip, a cracking trip. Had a few beers last night, probably a few too many. And I think we all woke up this morning feeling a little bit fuzzy, as you do. Um, I had some stickers made for the tour, and we stuck one on up near the Iron Bridge Hotel, which was we were literally in fits of uh, fits of laughter. God, it's tight, it tightens up a bit. Look at that, yeah, and then background and oh, lovely. But yeah, this road was, was nice and twisty on the way down. Yeah, we stuck a stick on the sign and it, it looks like um, it's a sign talking about the renovation of the bridge and it actually looks like we renovated it and we've come back to the 40th anniversary of, uh, of the bridge being fixed, which is quite funny. Come on, RS. Yeah, look at this. Little twisty roads. On a fast bike or big bike, this road would be really good. I mean, obviously, today there's a bit of... Uh, a bit of precipitation in the air but these are the roads we came here for these lovely twisty roads we're turning off just up here so I better just roll off and make sure that they're behind me they'll be there somewhere because now we drift off towards Conway Colwyn Bay look at that there you go there's John just jumping in the car on the side now Simon. Perfect. Right, catch you in a bit. It's back on because I think we've got some more twisties coming up. Quick look down at the map. There's JC behind me. There's the R350. Yeah, look. Oh, it's crap on the road. It's not too bad, man. Yeah, it looks like we've got some twisties. But you've got to keep the old up. You've got to keep the RS revving. Does that say flood? I can't imagine it'd be a flood this far, could you? But I'm sure it's a sign up there for fun. Oh, this is nice. Where are we going now? Yeah, we're following this way. Here we go. Bracken at the side. But yeah, the roads are getting nice. They're getting quiet. The surface is getting good. Uh, yeah, North Wales. Nice place to ride, even if you've only got 
26 horsepower and we're doing what we do 50 miles an hour uh, but we'll be into the, I think the mountains I don't think tomorrow the day after but um, we're heading down to the coast today down in Conway so I'll sign off you might get a bit more from me today so this is, this is just going to be a, a video just for our, us with the trip and anyone that really is bored since this and wants to see what we've done for the erupt it probably be my wife and friends and other family uh, but yeah right let's crack on and I'll speak to you all later it's starting to be lovely right later everyone cool thing so that's a full tank now it's a 73 miles but unfortunately I've uh, not my trip when I was lubing the speedo drive um, yesterday so it's actually 83 miles I was 10 miles short so it's 83 miles and I put in 4.4 litres uh, so 83 so that's got to be 85 86 to the gallon that's not bad hey that's not bad right let's just push this out of the way a little bit let someone else get in and let's go pay for some fuel and then uh, yeah then we're carrying on to Conway for our overnight hotel here we go so start of day three we're leaving the central hotel Landudno which was alright to be fair quite a nice place breakfast was alright room was uh, adequate I think like any old seaside town that's in decline you know a few bits could have done with a coat of paint but I'm not knocking it for that it was alright so recommended car park around the back as well for your bikes so uh, yeah central hotel Landudno it's a tick. Uh, today John on the DR350 is leading. Um, John is a bit old school he's got a big paper map which he's just looked at. Uh, doesn't have a sat nav on his bike so this could be interesting. We are expecting a few halts for map checks which will be him getting out his large paper map and uh, deciding where we're gonna go. But we're heading down towards, I think, Betsy Coed. I'm not even running the map on my bike because um, there's no point. You know, I'll let, let John do it today. He's more than capable of navigating. But I'm pretty sure we will have a few stops to work it out. So this is San Dudno Beach. I don't know if you can see the pier. You can see the pier over there. And uh, I think it's called the Grand Hotel. We walked past it yesterday. It's not very grand anymore. I'm sure it was once upon a time the heyday of this place, but it's certainly not anymore. Uh, but we did have a nice curry in the Blue Elephant, I think it's called. That's recommended. Yeah, lovely curry house. Ah, we saw this last night. GT550 Kawasaki. Perfect, look at that. Thing of beauty. Yeah, shame we didn't meet the owner because he could probably, we could have chatted ate his motorcycles for the whole evening. Uh, but yeah, Blue Elephant, I'm sure it's called the Blue Elephant. Um, just off the big roundabout uh, to the left. Uh, yeah, nice curry house. And they do vegan options. So if any of your party are vegan, it, um, it's, uh, it ticks that box as well, which is very good, as it should be. So, we are heading towards Betsy Coed. And then, um, oh, in fact, we're about to go past the curry house. I can point it out. It was just off this roundabout. Yeah, just makes the chokes dropped off. Um, so yeah, this this roundabout here with um, the Carlton and what have you. Uh, perfect dreams. If you can see out the other side of the roundabout. Well, above that, it's uh, what is it? It's Mostyn Street. There you go. Uh, a little doorway where it says "Take a break in pink." Just next to that, you go up some stairs to the uh, the curry house. Yeah, recommended. So, we're leaving Clendudno towards Betsy Coed and then down towards the overnight at Aberystwyth. So, if any of the roads look interesting, I'll bung the camera back on. Um, if not, and I'll probably waffle on the way as I normally do. If not, um, then you'll see us in Aberystwyth or a lunch break somewhere or uh, a map check or whatever. But uh, yeah, take it easy. We'll catch you soon. We're uh, <coughs> so just we're crossing over the uh, well. I think first of all, railway lines or do the railway lines? Are the railway lines run parallel. 
crossing over the estuary in a minute and uh, that's Conway Castle in the foreground now chap in he bought my Ducati 750F1 by another person in Manchester sorry not Manchester, Liverpool many many years ago probably oh, 20 years ago or something um, and long story short I saw him post up on one of the Ducati F1 pages about this new bike he bought and I thought you know what that looks like my old bike messaged him and it was so we sort of kept in touch over the years and uh, I put a post on Facebook last night about you know where we are what have you and he said oh, I'm very close to that so he sent me a message and said uh, you know invited me to stop in um, see the old F1 which was tucked to the back behind some other bikes but obviously as, as kind as it was you know there's three of us and we're on a trip so um, so I declined but yeah what other coincidences that and we've just been through his hometown or where he lives now should I say so Conway Castle it's a castle in Wales um, I don't think I know much more about it than that but yeah it's a castle it's in Wales so John's still leading um, we're still riding I'm sure we know where we're going if not we're riding so what does it matter we're out riding with your mates we are heading towards what's that say Bangor I'm sure we'll have a lovely day the day we went to, went to Bangor we might have lunch on the way blah 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 yeah there's, there's more of the castle look there's a, there's, a, there's a wall I'm guessing there was a wall around Conway who would know a bit like Canterbury which is close to where I'm from and the visitor centre this looks like quite a nice place that's your sort of thing. Right, anyway, I'll catch you all later. Oh, there's some more of it up there. Oh, yeah, it goes for miles. Yeah, who would have known? And there's a bit more in front of us. Right, hopefully we'll get to some open twisty roads soon. And we can crack on a little bit because we've just been stuck in 20 and 30 mile hour limits. Which have been pretty poor. So, uh Let's hopefully we'll get out of these slower zones and get some miles done. All right, catch you soon. We've, uh, I think John's trying to follow the coast road and uh, we follow signs to the marina. It seems like the marina's a dead end. So, uh, yeah, he's got the map out. Quick map appreciation, we'll be on our way. I must admit, that's why I like technology. Because, uh, Generally speaking, it's reliable and it gets you gets you places. I remember days of map checks, and I'm quite glad that um, I don't do that anymore. But some people prefer, prefer navigating by map, which is absolutely fine. <laughs> God, uh, you probably can't. <laughs> I could see Simon's shoulders. Sh <laughs> Oh, I might have to get off and wander over. He won't know that this is videoing either. Oh. <laughs> How's it going, John? Yeah, it's good. Good. <laughs> Thought so. <laughs> oh, brilliant. That's what makes these trips. We'll have a good chuckle about this later. Um, in the meantime, I might just, uh, I might just have a quick look at my uh, my maps. Uh, recent history. Uh, Aberystwyth. There we go. So let's just hit directions and start. Yeah, it's telling us to take the main road. Yeah, okay. Alright, well. <clears throat> I've got a feeling we should have come out the other end of town. But uh, as John says, all under control. Alright. Map's going away. Catch you soon. I think we'll be rolling. Let's see where this takes us. I could uh, say with confidence I've never been to Conway. 
Uh, but today I can actually say I've been here twice. I'm not quite sure where John's going here because we need to be turning right. Okay, he now wants to go left. Okay. Okay, interesting. I'll try not to get run over. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I've been at Conway twice now. Um, we went to Conway. Um, probably only about uh, oh, 15 minutes ago, maybe. Oh, let's come on, get in gear. <coughs> and uh, you might have heard me speaking, it would have been a matter of seconds if you're watching this, if you're watching this drivel. Um, you might have heard me, I'll oh, bring over again. You might have heard me saying, um, oh, I'll bring over. Uh, I think it's waiting for me. The cell was a lot of walls. Well, as we re entered Conway, uh, there was a sign saying the walled, the walled town or the walled city. Oh, it's the castle, look. Again. Yeah, the walled town or the walled city. So, I guess there's a wall that goes all the way around it. Right, well, hopefully, the next time I press the uh, start button, we should be on some lovely, twisty, winding roads. I mean, it's a nice castle. Yeah. And we're just seeing it from a different angle now. So we're ticking those boxes. Uh, fish and chip shop there? Yeah. Oh, that's an old building, whatever that is. Right, anyway, Conway. Again, looks like nice. Again, has a castle. Again, has a wall around it. So, next time, you will see me definitely on some little tiny roads on the way to Betsy Coed. Fingers crossed. Catch you soon. Tea room from yesterday. Probably couldn't see the name there, but, yeah, I can't remember where we are now. I think I did say it yesterday, but nice little... Uh, Nice little latte and a sort of caramel cake there. So we're still rolling. We're uh, hopefully now got some smaller smaller lanes, but as you might be able to see in the head there, I know the, the camera sort of falls short on all the distances, but if you can see it, there's a fucking JCB we're stuck behind. I can't imagine it will be going very far, but sod's like it will be. But hopefully we'll clear it. We'll get onto some nice little lanes and we'll have some good riding. The B5106 to Betsy Curd. Ah, we're turning away. Superb. Yeah, we did have a, a bit of a diversion because the road was closed, as you can see there. That was the other end of the, uh, I think that was probably the other end of the, the road closure. Might not be because it was a while back, but hey. So, let's crack on. Hopefully we've got onto some nice small roads now. And uh, we'll enjoy some riding. It's a little bit damp today. It's not too warm either. I've got a base layer under this vented suit. But I have got my nice 78 motor gloves on. My comfiest gloves. But if it starts raining, I might have to put waterproofs and some waterproof gloves on. It's wet beneath the trees. But the riding should be good. So, um, I'll check back in a while. And uh, we'll see where we are. Alright, take care. Which I'm sure everyone would have heard of. It's a nice little town full of lots of walkers. Reminds me a little bit of lakes actually with the um, all the various outdoor shops. So yeah, Betsy Coed. Yeah. And it is, as you can guess it, a 20 mile an hour limit as we came into it. Hopefully it won't be too busy with tourists. Although it is apparently this is the height of summer, it's the middle of July. So obviously it's scorching weather, tourists everywhere. Uh, a bit like at uh, uh, San Dubno yesterday. Uh, yeah, it's, it's miserable. I mean, you know, it is actually chilly. Uh, but there you go, that's the UK for you. Uh, unfortunately as a group we don't get um, Altogether, we don't get enough time with uh, other commitments to get away for a decent length. So the trips that we've been doing all tend to be UK based. So we've done Scotland, Wales, and then uh, we'll talk about the Isle of Man next year. But again, um, you know, the other guys can be restricted for time because they've got other things that they need to be doing, which is you know, absolutely fine. Uh, but it does mean that we don't get to, to travel further than the time allows us. 
maybe one day maybe we'll get a nice euro jaunt, jaunt or maybe pop down into somewhere. i'd love to go back to morocco i'd love to take these guys to morocco it's a fantastic country to ride but again you know you need a couple of weeks for that it's an absolute minimum and uh, i don't think they've got that available so yeah that was betsy Coed. right Hopefully, as I say, we'll be, we'll be finding some little roads soon, and then we can uh, we can crack on and get some nice twisties done. So I'm going to rope the old RS up the hill. Catch you soon. You saw the sign there, Capel Keurig. It's a long time since I've been here. I came here with the army in um, maybe the late 90s. I can't remember what we were doing, we were doing exercise, but there's a camp up here somewhere, Camp Fury. Um, it might have even been adventure training, that rings a bell. But yeah, yeah, a long time since I've been in this neck of the woods. But there you go, there you go, interesting fact. Um, we're still stuck behind the coach, if I mentioned that earlier. Uh, but it started to rain, so I might, I might pull over and stick some waterproofs on because it looks like this is going to, this is going to settle in for a while. So I might find somewhere just to, yeah it is, it's, uh, it's coming down harder now, I think I'll be doing that somewhere, right, catch you guys in a bit, on slightly, let me just turn some music off, slightly better roads now, when I say slightly better, a lot better, but there's no traffic in the, in the valley, smoking along, I think we just left, uh, we went back into um, Capacuri, Turned around and came back, and we've um, we I think we missed the turning. So we are now uh, heading. I think to Pazzi Brennan. Uh, I'm sure some correct me someone knows the area. I've not got the map at all. My boat's folded up. I'm the line on John Stone. Simon's um, obviously putting his his, uh, his input because he knows his work in this area fairly well. So yeah, unfortunately the rain has started. Probably see it on the screen. Oh, we're trying to do something with bikes. Yeah, <laughs> uh, we're working on it. The orange gloves give that really well, but look, you can see it's raining. Gloves are getting wet. I put the waterproof jacket on. I might well go for the trousers as soon as well because um, this kit is not waterproof in the slightest. It actually acts like a sponge because it is just a you know fabric cordura, whatever it is. So I might put my I might stop and put my trousers on. Uh, I put the jacket on, not so much because of the rain, but I was getting cold. You know, it's, it's so well vented. For me, thinking the middle of July, I'll be needing a vented suit for a trip. Ha! Oh, how fucking ridiculous, eh? Yeah. But at least I've got a base layer of waterproofs, so I can layer up and keep it a bit warmer. But the scenery is improving. Look at this, this is nice. Uh, I think we were going to stop for a brew, but we bypassed that. Um, so we're cracking on, I'm not sure how far to the next tea stop uh, and as you get older, wheat stop but things are picking up, what are we doing? 50, 50 plus miles an hour yeah, much better, much more like it nice bit of scenery so, we're still going that might stop raining does it stop raining? let's get that, let's get that lens and wipe yeah, I think it probably has, there you go yeah, this is much, much more like it. Things are looking up, except at the uh, top of the top of the hills. This is a lot of cloud. Right, catch you all soon. Probably the next tea stop. See you in a bit. We uh, we just stopped for a uh, a quick brew and a very quick bite to eat. You know, like um, sausage roll, flapjack, that sort of thing. Um, I can't remember what the place was called. But leave um, leave Capel Capel Keurig um, towards Porth something. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get probably people complain I don't know the place where I'm going, but I didn't actually look on the map. But uh, yes, yeah, so you turn off and you're running running parallel with the um, the lake. Uh, you go along there for a few miles. You go past a toilet block at a car park on the left hand side. As you come to the next corner on the right hand side just slightly up and away from the road there's an old looks like a Wesleyan chapel that's now a cafe uh, it's got a seated area outside uh, guy that 
Uh, I think either, either he runs it or he works there. He's in it with his bikes. Um, ex squaddy I got chatting to him. And uh, he was with the Royal Welsh. But um, yeah, nice place, worth a stop. Likes his bikes, likes a chat. Um, good coffee, good cake, good sausage rolls, and they do proper food there as well. So if you're out this way, worth a stop. As you can see, we're on, we're on some nice small roads now, uh, heading south. So, um, nice bit of scenery. Hopefully no more coaches. So that's what you want, twist the roads for half a mile. That's the sort of signs you want to see. It was raining a little bit as we left, but it seems to have dried up now. So although my gloves are damp, I'm sure they'll be dry pretty soon. Yeah, not, not a great road to walk along, mate. Oh, there's a bit of gravel in the centre of the road as well. You can see this has been rechipped fairly recently, which is never good. But it's that time of year. And following the river to the left there. So yeah, things are looking up. Definitely improving over this morning's riding. But the trouble with, I think, with Wales is you're, you're restricted to the amount of roads that go from A to B. So there are times when you do have to take more major roads like we did this morning to actually get somewhere to then deviate off onto these little roads but yeah we're looking good this is what this is more more like the the wells that i think we all want to see happy days catch you either in a few minutes if something interesting happens or i'll uh, see you in Aberystwyth. yeah ta-da i'll say i was, I'll say i thought i'd turn it off then but i haven't i've turned it back on i must have actually found the button and uh, I pressed it again. But you know me, I leave everything in as it is. So the, pretty much the whole video you're gonna see is me just pressing the button, waffling, turning it back off again. There's not gonna be anything edited out. So as usual, any errors, omissions, gaps, they're, um, they're what happens as of when. So we're just running a nice little gorge here. Yeah, very nice. Nice roads. Perfect RS territory. So we are now here. Our oh, Porth Maddock. There we go. So between Capel Curic and Port Porth Maddock, but only a couple of miles out of Capel Curic is the Cath. Yeah, well worth a look. Right, catch it a bit. Back on because uh, this is a lovely little road. I've got a feeling we turned left when we should have gone straight on towards Porth Maddock. I'm not so sure. I just say it's a lovely little road. Look, we go to a, a bit of a dull straight. But yeah, I'm pretty sure we, um, we should have carried on, um, unless I misunderstood what we were chatting about earlier. But we'll find out. But now the road did seem to look a bit more interesting and a little bit more twisty. But now this this trip has been great so far. There's something special about getting away with your mates on motorbikes. Uh, you're in a little world of your own when you're riding and obviously I chat I chat shit to the camera and um, hit, the, hit the record button every now and then just to record a few things or listen to music through the intercom um, but sometimes you can just be completely away in your own in your own um, thoughts and John was saying earlier that when he rides he just, it clears his head uh, and I find that as well as I said before in previous videos it's like a little little therapy bike especially the new blue clothes I really like these and uh, yeah gives you a chance to get away from the world unwind and relax because uh, you actually have to think about what you're doing like missing, missing bits of twig in the road rather than a car you just sort of point it and steer it I'm not saying all cars are dull because some cars can be entertaining but even with a Porsche you know, I mean, it was a, you know, it was a, a fairly quick car, it was, you know, 400 horsepower. But to be enjoyable, you still got to tramp on a bit, a bit like a, a modern day sports bike. You are still going fairly quick. Whereas on something like this, you can wring its neck, and you're not actually going very fast. And if you see a twig in the road, you've got time to dodge around it. Whereas on a, a big bike <coughs> or a fast car, you don't really get that sort of like sudden little, you know flick flack flick flack sort of thing you know what I mean anyway road's opened out now I'll, I'll stop waffling till the next point when I do start waffling again 
and let's see where it takes us. On the coast road, as you can see, there is the sea. And uh, more sea, more sea and some mountains. So we're now gonna hopefully follow the coast as far as we can uh, until we get down towards at risk of uh, in a few hours at the end of the day but yeah the sea there we go I don't know where we are we're heading south and that's the coast um, so I could tell you a little bit all the street signs are in Welsh which makes sense if you're Welsh not if you're English we're heading towards Barmouth there you go that's where we're going towards Barmouth that was a bit of sea. Happy days. See you soon. Do you get that? See ya. See. See you soon. Yeah. And I'll get the coat. Eight. Rad time. They started off. Obviously, we got slowed in town. Then we've had a few nice roads. And uh, since then, because I think we're a bit restricted by. The routes we've got between A and B today it's just been apart from the odd occasional good road which I've probably videoed that so that's probably been about it and uh, we just haven't got any speed up we've just been plodding through towns stuck behind vehicles it's just been a bit of a dredge a drudge today I don't want a bit of a down at the moment I was all right about an hour ago I've just got a bit of a downer because every time we seem to get a bit of speed up, we hit another fucking 20 mile an hour limit. Honestly, to the point where I'm thinking Wales has been ruined by 20 mile an hour limits. Because everywhere you go, you get a little bit of speed and then you go straight into a 20. And everyone does 20, which is fine because that's the speed limit. But fuck me, it's slow. Yeah. Wales has been officially ruined by the 20 mile an hour limit. Yeah. So, yeah, so, so far today, um, started off well, but maybe I'll just have a bit of a downer because um, the roads just haven't been great. You know, as I say, when you go between A and B, especially in Wales, you might be restricted by, you know, one or two roads. And unfortunately, the roads that we've got aren't very good. You know, we're not we're not on the twisties apart from a little bit earlier. Um, we literally are just following the sea now. And it's, um, if it's like this the whole way, then it might be a bit dull. Apart from seeing the sea, there's the sea. There we go. Um, I suppose I think there were two routes. One was the sea, the sea, and one was within the mountains. I think I would prefer the mountains to be fair. They're going to be a little bit more twisty, but the, I think the theory was um, that's, that's going to be busier, which is fair enough. The last thing we'll do is find a lovely twisty bouncy road and get stuck behind a coach or a car or a camper van. So at least we're moving. What are we doing? 50 mile an hour, but it's just not. It's not one of. It's not one of the great motorcycling roads of the world, should we say? But it might get better further down. If it does, I'll um, I'll stop ranting about 20 mile an hour limits, and I might come back on in a happier mood. Let's hope so, because uh, on, on a trip with mates, which is good. Why are we slowing? Why are we slowing? Have I missed the speed limit? No, I'm pretty sure I haven't. Okay. So yeah, let's see what the day brings us. There's even a fucking van overtaking now. Yeah, there's a van overtaking a car. He's obviously getting a bit impatient. I might have to let him come past me because he's obviously a local and he's probably fed up. Uh, right, happy days. I think we're going to come into a town now, so no doubt we'll get another 20 mile an hour limit, but I'll cut the camera off so you don't need me ranting. Right, late as all, cheers. 
We're now headed across the Penmian Pole Toll Bridge. Motorcycles 50 pence. Uh, let's go have a look at it, shall we? Uh, the road didn't improve. I'm hoping my mood improves. I ended up with a, a van behind me that's fucking headlights and high beam because I think they were just getting pissed off at how slow the traffic was flowing, which was understandable because it was flowing very slowly. Uh, but we are now on a smaller road towards the toll bridge, which I'm hoping will lead us to some better roads because, yeah, apart from this morning where we had a, a few good roads, the rest of them have been dying. Uh, it's luck of the draw. But I won't be coming back to this part of Wales, or not this route anyway. Because um, it's no different to the roads in Kent, really. But let's have a look at this bridge then, this toll bridge. See who we pay and how we pay. Oh, there must be someone somewhere. Maybe it's at the other end. Be interesting, isn't it? Oh, it's a bit bumpy as well. I don't know if it's smoother here. Uh, no, it's not smoother here. Okay, pay point. That's reasonably interesting, isn't it? Uh, uh, uh. Have I got 50p? If not, I guess it's going to be on card. Where are we? Do I have my card? Somewhere. There we go. I had a problem with the card the other day, maybe it's Wales and stuff, but yeah look at that, funny little funny little bridge. Well right, anyway, I'm gonna pay. I'll catch you later. And then fingers crossed we get some better bridges. Better bridges, better roads. Alright, see you in a bit. Back again. Um, you know, the last thing is going over that little tiny bridge. Um, the other side of that there was a uh, quite a nice little restaurant we stopped and had a bit of lunch which was very nice recommended although myself and John ordered a fish finger sandwich and we thought fish finger sandwich was well fish fingers in a sandwich but it wasn't it was like um, they look like mini cod fillets in a ciabatta bun with salad and white chips and peanut soup so yeah word of warning if you want a fish finger sandwich there it's not a fish finger sandwich or not in the um, traditional sense of fish fingers but right now we are next stop is Aberystwyth we are taking the mountain route rather than the coastal route uh, I think the idea is there'll be less towns and there'll be less of these fucking 20 mile an hour limits which begins to be a bit of a pain uh, John's bike is running quite rich so we need to investigate that so we get the carb off and I just need to nip, nip the chain up on the RS and check the oil level RS's are known for knocking the chains out and it's not a very expensive chain on this bike at the moment I will replace it with a, a proper decent overing chain probably when I get back actually whilst the sprockets are still in pretty much new condition I'll, uh, I'll put a better quality chain on it along with fitting the GN250 rear wheel as a proper push drive which should then make a huge difference um, so it'll be able to be a proper push drive assembly rather than the um, just rather than the oh, I should have gone like that shouldn't I yeah but uh, rather than the um, pins and rubber bushes which uh, is used on plenty of other bikes you can just use it but on a little single do lug it especially around town you can't feel those power pulses really rattling the chain so it doesn't need an adjustment yeah. uh, 
but yeah, we're, it looks like we're heading into rain, so yeah, waterproof gear on um, because we're going towards the mountains. I think this, we were getting ready to go and sign until it looks like rain, and it was spot on because it is starting to rain now. So let's see what the day brings or the rest of the day brings, and we're hopefully going to be cracking some um, better roads rather than uh, roads earlier today, which weren't great. Absolutely no one's fault. It's just that's what the roads are like. Made to be, as I said earlier. So let's see what today brings. So next stop, Aberystwyth. Catch you a bit. Stop. So we are just ticking over 90 miles. Let's see what we can get in. Now they switch the pump on. Now if it's doing 90 miles to the gallon, it's going to be filled to roughly what it was like before, so about four and a half litres. So, what's, I'm not going to look at how much is it up on the screen. I'm going to fill it up to the same mark I fill it up to each time, which is there. Oh, I can't get four and a half litres in. Let's squeeze a bit more in, shall we? It's gonna, I don't want it to overflow. Alright, that is exactly four and a half litres and that is fuller than it was. And that, as you can see, has just ticked over 90 miles. 90 miles to the gallon. Oh, bloody good, eh? Bloody good. And it is pissing down now, properly pissing down. Alright, let's get this fuel paid for. Let's get cracking on again. Catch it a bit. Yeah, just a slight bit of interest. You probably can't see the smoke anymore, but just had a small, small fire, which meant uh, with flames included, so I had to pull the um, pull the side stand off and rip the wires out. Uh, but I had to take my helmet uh, and it was in the pocket. But yeah, um, right. I've got no charging now for the uh, for the phone. So yeah. let's carry on. Four Seasons, Aberystwyth, highly recommended. Right then, we have um, we have one of our party not feeling a hundred percent today. Uh, he had a, a chat on the white telephone during the night. Um, I think it was something to do with a very good pub that Simon found. Um, what was it called? The Bank Vault. And they had live music. They had a um, bluegrass band. Um, not my sort of thing normally, but you know what it's like after after a jar or two. In fact, it's straight down the street there. It was right up the road there. Yeah, after a jar or two, um, you know, it was actually pretty good. And uh, they do their own sort of like craft beer and all that sort of thing not not normally my sort of scene I'm afraid I'm a I'm a bit of a cheap date I'm a bit of a you know bottle of whatever straight out the fridge and uh, empty cats you know um, a bottle of cider and away we go uh, John and Simon are, they're more into their sort of like ales and what have you and they they partake partook last night of some um, some beers and uh, as I say today John's not really feeling a hundred percent should we say so we are now heading towards the Raven pub which is in a place that I have not got a fucking clue how you pronounce so I'm not even gonna try so I've chucked Tom Tom go ride on the weather's looking good it's going to be a, a bit of a sedate pace, I think, to start with, for obvious reasons. And, um, yeah, we'll see how we get on. So, we're leaving Aberystwyth. And, uh, I think we've got, what have we got? 79 miles and two and three quarter hours. But we've got all day to do it, so we can stop as and when. Uh, for people to have, um, breakfast and what have you. I've just realised that Simon's high beam is on. I might, might have to pull over and let him know about that. 
<coughs> anyway, right, enough of my waffle. Catch you all soon. It's out of Aberystwyth and we're already on a cracking little road. This is where I like Tom Tom, um, Tom Tom Go Ride at. Sometimes it comes up trumps, sometimes it doesn't. The AI doesn't always work, as we found out when we're going down the lanes covered in grass and stuff. Uh, but sometimes it picks up a little gem like this, which is lovely. I mean, look at it, dropping down through the valley. And a uh, nice little tree tunnel. Yeah, looks nice. Um, I'm not quite sure where it's going to take us. Oh, the dog in the road, that's not very clever. I wonder if we better capture that. Oh, it's gone. Okay. Right, let's crack on. Roads, look. So this is why I came to Wales. This is what I came for. We were a bit stuffed yesterday with the main road. But it looks like um, a little route that we should be taking today back up to this place that shall not be pronounced correctly by anybody other than the Welsh and old guests. Look, really nice. Just dropping down some valleys up the other sides. These would be better. You can have tall hedges. And obviously you've got to be wary of stuff coming the other way. Like a transit van on the road. Ah, oh, and a coach, or not a coach, we'll talk about a lorry that we've caught up with. But hey, I don't think we can win them all. And, uh, that's just the way it is. Right. Let's uh, enjoy these roads, enjoy the scenery. Enjoy it while it's not raining. And catch you soon. Gone because there's a beautiful view, but then um, we just appeared. I say appeared, just got a hedge. So I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it. John Simon got stuck behind the, the wagon. I managed to get past it, but then the wagon put his foot down. Ah, oh, here we go. Look at that. Hey, that's lovely, isn't it? Little houses on the beach, on the sea there. Oh, into a 20 limit now, as per usual. Stuck in Wales, isn't it? Borth. Ah, I think Simon spoke about Borth. Ends up walking here on a drunken night one day from Aberystwyth. There was a story to tell, I won't tell the whole story. Um, but yeah, he did. Alright, then I'm going to get past this wagon. The bloke's been a bit of a dick, he's not going to let the bikes pass. So uh, I think I'll pull over and wait for him. Right, catch you later. Right, we're on a few little lanes, and these are tiny little lanes. Um, but uh, John wants a brew, which is absolutely fine, because I could do it with a brew. He could always do it with a brew, but obviously he's not feeling 100%. So although we have just come up this lane, this is quite a long, convoluted route to um, take us towards our destination. So I've just stopped and suggested we spin back round and head back towards the main road and go get a brew. Which is a sensible thing to do. Oh, excuse me, because um, we've all not felt very well, and uh, these lanes are great when you're feeling fine. But obviously, he missed breakfast this morning, so we'll head back to the main road, and we'll continue that way, and we'll find somewhere where we can all get a little bit refreshed, and hopefully, all feel better. And then we can uh, enjoy these little lanes a little bit later in the day. We've got all day, so there's no rush at all. So, let's go find a brew, and we'll take it from there. Let's see. Right, just to grab this, grab this um, view, cracking view here. See, he's got the right idea on his bike. Yeah, that lovely little road. We just had a nice bit of um, coffee and cake, as you do. John's had some beans on toast, he's feeling a little bit more human now, which is good news. So I did deviate slightly, we were on a route which was more and more tiny twisty little roads. Um, but I've taken the decision unilaterally just to crack on on some of the more main roads so that we can grab petrol, grab coffee, grab tea, whatever we need to on the way some of the little roads you're on them for about an hour and you don't really see a lot as in traffic or shops and although they're better roads for riding admittedly um, 
there's no point if one of us isn't feeling great that we crack on and do those. So, slightly bigger roads, they're still picturesque, still got some lovely views and the traffic's still flowing so all is good. And uh, we're heading towards, as I say, some place that cannot be named because I couldn't begin to pronounce it. It's the Raven Pub, it's a community pub <coughs> run by volunteers, a local pub for local people. You're not from around here, are you? All that sort of stuff. And we'll see what it's like. Hopefully, we won't catch too many caravans. We just got caught the caravan going up the hill, but we're doing well, a little over 50 now, and they've disappeared. So they might have struggled coming up a hill, but they've obviously got a lick on going down, which is good news. So fingers crossed for the day. And uh, let's see where the riding takes us. This isn't a bad road though, as main roads go, this is alright. Let's look at this one. Right, thanks. 4.81 miles, uh, sorry, 4.81 litres, 94 miles. And that is absolutely brimmed. That's got to be 80 something to the gallon, isn't it? I'm probably boring everybody with these fuel stops, but they're bloody great can't believe how economical this bike is right let's go pay at this uh, funny little garage in the middle of nowhere I'll just move the bike out of the way because I think John's gonna fuel here and then we can crack on we're turning over there towards Langawa and Bala Lake and a train station and a toilet that's handy for men of a certain age all right Let's crack on. We've just fueled up and we're off and we've straight into some lovely little lanes. We're just traveling past that's uh, if you can see that there that's Bala Lake and we're skirting to the uh, uh where we look at because I see the map let's go to the east of Bala Lake and some lovely little country lanes I say lovely little country lanes these are perfect for uh, I mean John's one of the best bike for this the DR 350 cruising round but then the RS is still perfect for it whereas um, yeah Simon is an XR 750 sports bike but he's quite happy he doesn't mind running these little lanes because he's just riding his bike and by his own admission he doesn't get to ride it often enough uh, okay walkers in a car right is that car going to put into that gap up there yeah it is perfect Thank you very much. So yeah, the lake is literally just over there. But yeah, these are some these are some nice little lanes here. It's obviously quite a popular spot for for walkers and hikers. And we just had a group of road cyclists come past us, uh, and you can't blame them. There's some lovely groups down this way. Still there? Yeah, there's John. Hopefully, feeling a bit more human. I did say you uh, you can have a beer or two tonight. Mm -hmm. Tonight's in the future, isn't it? So uh, I guess that is a yes. You will be having a beer tonight. As usual, by the time it gets to the evening and you're with a few mates memory of the day before has faded slightly and after that first beer all is well with the life again and with the world again should I say so we're now descending down towards I'm guessing we're going to cross the, cross the bridge here somewhere up here and then we uh, still keep skirting around the lake I'm assuming the whole lake is Bala Lake maybe Bala's the place so you can certainly put a comment in the boxes below criticising me for getting that seriously wrong. You're massively offended. No, obviously it's not well. I think we'll be stopping on this bridge then. Come on in your big car, you can get over there. You've got tons of room. Loads of room. Loads of room. You're welcome. And yeah, we're over. Right. That's crazy.
crack on. And as I keep saying, catch you a little bit. In fact, catch you even sooner than that because I hit the button. That's why I have to keep looking in the mirror. Let's try again, see in a bit. Route. We had grass in the middle of the road just now. Oh, here you go, a bit more grass. <laughs> yeah. Great for the RS. Great for the DR. Not so good on a, on a 1990 750 sports bike. But I'm sure we're having fun. We are 20 miles away. But obviously that's still going to take us a fair while. Because we're on these little lanes. But this is... Uh, these are really nice. Just nice plodding along. Enjoying it. No one's having a blast. Um, we're just taking our time. Enjoying the ride, which is how it should be. You just got to watch out for the bits of gravel in the middle of the road though. And it's quite narrow obviously, you don't want, to, don't want someone flying the other way, so we are taking it steady. But there are plenty of views, so you can see what's coming. But yeah, nice, nice views across the valley. Some wind turbines, all that sort of stuff. So another 20 miles, and we'll be at the Raven in the uh, place that no one can pronounce apart from the Welsh. Is it well, so that's fair enough. But uh, I thought I'd put the camera on because it looks like we're going to come up a crest here. We might get some decent views. Ah, uh, look at that. And just about on cue. Yeah. Some nice views uh, apart from the hedge. Oh well, there was a nice view. There's a hedge there now. But you got the idea. Anyway. Oh, there you go. A little bit more. Right. Let's keep riding down these little lanes and catch you later road that is it's a 40 mile an hour limit but it is proper twisty look at it it's a 40 mile an hour limit and we're banging up and down the gears and sticking it into bends i don't think we've done 40 mile an hour well we have done 40 miles an hour doing 40 miles an hour now but what a great little road we are not far from uh i make we're not far from the, the raven pub now in the place that can't be known. Um, so we're not too bad, we're not doing too bad. But due to my uh, small electrical fire yesterday, obviously I don't have a way of charging my phone. And the thing I found with TomTom Tom Go Ride is it does eat the battery a little bit. I'm almost out of electricity. But we will get there um, using the nav. What was that? Something old and British. <laughs> oh, John must have seen that. Nice. So yeah, nearly there. I'll uh, I'll probably put the camera back on when we get there. But no, I just thought I'd chuck it on. I mean, unfortunately, it's the sort of thing where you think, oh, this is a great little road. Oh, I'll video it, and then by the time you video it, most of the bends have stopped. But um, we're turning off soon. So nearly at the last hotel on the trip bit of a sad day i suppose but we've had a good ride today there's been a lot of nadgery little roads again not not ideal for simon's bike and we've seen plenty of rural wales but we've avoided a lot of traffic we've not been stuck behind coaches and caravans we're well, not really caravans and uh, we've seen a lot of wales that you wouldn't normally see if you're traveling on a main road so i've enjoyed it and i hope the other guys have uh, but yeah, we are 3.7 miles away from the hotel, so I'll cut this off now, and uh, we're still at the hotel time. Cheers. That lovely old Jag, he was at a pub last night, so he's come back this morning to collect it. So the Raven Inn, community pub in, I'm not even going to try and pronounce it, um, but you can Google it, there's a church opposite if you look on maps. But yeah, cracking. This is our last day. Bit sad, John's headed off towards Cumbria and we're heading down towards Simons in Worcestershire where I'll be spending the night and then on to Kent tomorrow. So I think we've got about 120 miles today, John's got a little bit more than that. So uh, yeah, it's been a cracking few days. I'll do obviously a couple of updates on the way, but uh, this is where we split until next time. So, as I say, a bit sad this morning, but um, good night last night. Everyone was quite tired to be fair from the night before. 
where we uh, maybe had a shandy or two too many. See you soon, mate. It's always sad when you're going different ways. And uh, three. Oh, he stayed over last night. That was his missus. Beautiful car, though. So I think Johnny's going to follow us for a few miles. I think he said, and then uh, then he peels off for his his little route through the sticks. So Simon's going to lead today. Uh, he knows this area far better than me, and obviously if we. We just ride him back to his house, he knows it's probably a fairly good route. So that's what we're going to do. Let's drop a choke off. Right, you'll hear from me later on, no doubt. So until then, catch you soon. We've uh, we just split with John. So John's heading his way, and he's um, on the A525, I think, towards Wrexham. Yeah, these two guys on bikes, I saw them um, approach us. So I pulled right over the near side because we're you know we're doing 50 mile an hour first one comes and asks me I put a leg out which is a quite a typical biker salute nothing not a fucking thing overtook me then overtook Simon next one pulled over for him came past me not a fucking thing not even a wave yeah I think it's state of motorcycling sometimes I find it not depression is the wrong word but they used to be a real camaraderie. I mean, if, if a guy pulled over like that for me and I came past him, I'd give him a little wave, you know, with your, with your left hand, because your left hand is spare. It's not doing anything. Yeah, oh well. Right, anyway, ran over. It's a nice day. Um, obviously, it's a sad day, because it's the, the end of our trip, so the three is now two. John has, John has peeled off. He's headed the opposite direction on the 525 to um, try and find some smaller roads in his trip north rather than the motorway on his uh, the R350 and I think Simon's doing likewise but obviously we're, we're travelling in different directions we're travelling generally south he's travelling generally north so let's see what the day brings but as I say um, the, the trip I guess the trip for, for all three of us is, uh, is now over uh, and uh, we're just heading back heading home so I think my total mileage home is uh, 320 miles, something like that. Which obviously the trusty, rusty thing of beauty will cope with easily in its stride. Albeit at a more sedate pace as if I was on one of my other bikes. So, let's see what uh, happens today. Some nice views. But the trouble with... Um, I mean, I'll probably do a little bit of an update later about Wales and this trip. Not, not, not so much this trip, because this trip has been great. I've been with mates, and um, we've had a real laugh. I mean, there have been times when we've been, you know, we've, we've literally had hysterical laughter about some of the things we've got up to or some of the things we've said. Uh, for example, last night, um, as we were going up to bed quite early, because we were all very, very tired from the night before, uh, we said to, to one of the, the ladies at the, the pubs, community run pubs, so obviously they're, they're all locals that help muck in. This is a nice, nice bit of bends, bit of bendage, if that's a real word. Uh, we said, um, uh, what time's breakfast? They said, oh no, you, you've got a, um, oh yeah, Ponderosa calf. Very disappointed in the Ponderosa calf. Yeah, not, uh, oh there's those two bikers. Yeah, you can fuck off. Uh, not really, you know what I mean. Um, yeah, what time's breakfast? They said, oh, it's a continental breakfast. We said, oh, okay, yeah, that's fine. What time is it? I don't know, it's in your room. At which point, John turned back to me and went, you've already had yours, because I actually had some croissants when we got back there um, yesterday, because I was a bit peckish. So obviously I'd already eaten my breakfast, but Simon very kindly donated some of his to me, so I did have breakfast this morning. Uh, but yeah, that was that caused a bit of a chuckle. Right, Horseshoe Pass. Well, back on it again. A bit disappointed to be fair. It's a it's a big wide road with a 40 mile hour limit. We did a road yesterday. It was 40 miles an hour, and it was just constant twisties backwards and forwards. And there were there were times when 
you know, on a, on a fast sports bike, you could certainly you could have doubled on 40 miles an hour. But on this, 40 miles an hour was absolutely perfect, and I loved it. It literally was bend after bend. I think I did some video. I think I switched the camera on at some point. I must have got a nod. Uh, where's the Horseshoe Pass? What reputation does it live off at 40 mile an hour limit? And it's might as well be riding down any road, anywhere. Anyway, ran over. You know me, I do like to have a bit of a waffle. But, um, right, we're, yeah, because so we're back towards the train bridge, which was the first hotel we stayed at. So cool, because there was a bridge made of sort of train link. Um, where we did stick a, one of our tour stickers on a sign there that made it look like we'd, we'd help rebuild it when we were coming back for the 40th anniversary of um, of us building the bridge. Yeah, that, that also gave a chuckle. Right, anyway, I'm off. See you soon. We're back in England, funny enough. So we're back, I'm back. Well, myself is on. Just thought I'd um, do a quick uh, wrap up of the trip. Because for all intents and purposes, it is sort of, it's the last day everyone's heading home so the, the the trip as in the three of us riding around uh, that's come to an end and it's just everyone making their way back to obviously uh, the Lake District uh, Worcestershire and Kent uh, just a very quick interjection we just come through a, a village where there's a classic car show and we're waiting at a junction to pull out and this guy older guy comes past the Rolls Royce and looks at the RS and just with a big smile sticks his thumb up it's like fucking brilliant he obviously I'm guessing he either had one or I don't know but um, yeah simple things please simple minds I like that but yeah the trip epic trip really good we've had some great laughs we've had some good riding you know 90% of the riding has been good I mean there's been a few um, it's been a couple of days, I think there was one day where, and I know I probably had a bit of a moan about it because we were stuck on main roads between two places. That's just the way it is. Sometimes uh, there are, there are you know, places where the only great route between them is sort of down a fairly main road and that's what we did. So that, that was just, you know, just, it was a day's riding but it wasn't particularly enjoyable. Um, you could have been anywhere, anywhere in the country and obviously Wales is where you want to ride if you want to ride nice twisty roads but um, you know that that was the only day that um, for me I thought um, just was great for riding you know but you're with your mates so it doesn't really matter because we had a few beers that night and um, enjoyed ourselves Wales yeah See, I've got, um, you yeah, know, my, my dad was Welsh, so I'm sort of half Welsh, I guess. So I should feel some sort of affinity with the place, but I'm afraid I don't. Um, I've not seen any part of North Wales that has made me want to go back, if I'm completely honest. The roads were average. Um, you know, they were nothing to write home about. Uh, I know better roads than that in the southeast of England, you know, lying with trees and, you know, I mean, they're, they're obviously it's less hilly in the southeast of England, but on the RS that's a bonus, <laughs> to be fair. But the main thing that got me about Wales was just the constant speed limits. Every few miles you hit a village and it was a 20 mile an hour limit. And uh, it just got a bit wearing in the end. I could see now why a lot of people on the, the bike pages and the forums really do complain about these limits and the locals complain about them and say it will affect tourism because and I know it sounds a really petty thing to complain about speed limits because they're there for safety but yeah it just it just became a bit wearing and a bit tiresome um, you know obviously we have speed limits you know, in Kent and obviously the lakes and Worcestershire but but the only place I've ever seen twenties are outside schools or um, some places in London, you know, where, where the, the, the pedestrians and the traffic sort of density is a lot higher. And um, you know, that's, that's understandable. But I think that, that that's the, probably the main thing I'm going to take away. Not not the the riding and the trip, you know, with my mates because that was great. But the 
The other thing that's going to stick in my mind is the constant speed limits. Um, it's just hard work. But yeah, Wales. But I go back, mm, I've got to probably say, not for a while. Yeah, I probably wouldn't. Um, obviously, if John Simon said we go back to Wales, 100% I would, you know, because you're going back for a trip with your mates. But would I choose to ride in Wales again? I think the answer has to be no. As sad as it is, because a lot of people really rate it. Maybe I've just not done some decent roads, but we've done hundreds of miles around North Wales. I'd like to think we've been on, you know, most of the, the fast roads that are there. Uh, and if we were, well, they weren't my kind of road, that's all I'm going to say. So anyway, right, we're headed back to Worcestershire. Now, I have a bit of a cunning plan. We left really early. We left a lot earlier than I thought we would be. So I think we're going to be back to Simon's. Now he's going to stop. Right. Uh, he's probably just doing a quick map check. So I'll just chuck an indicator on. Uh, yeah, we're going to be back to Simon's probably not long after lunchtime. So my wife always makes a joke that when I go away on riding trips, I always come back a day early because I just sort of get into the riding mode and head back. Um, that might happen today, but that's going to be dependent on if the USB charger, I've ordered one off of Amazon to be delivered to Simon's, if that arrives today and I bolt it on, I might just do a quick uh, top up of the oil if it needs it, quick chain adjustment, check lube, etc fit the USB charger so I can power my maps and I might head back purely because I saw the weather forecast this morning and the forecast for tomorrow is rain uh, I don't really want to ride back in the pouring rain again it's not particularly pleasant because I do tend to take the main roads and the motorways back just to take some time so oh, the, other, the other thing is England are playing football tonight in some game some final or something but that does mean that the roads will be quiet because um, everyone's going to be home watching that so that might make it an easier journey than tomorrow where rush hour traffic and everything's back in place plus get an extra day at home to sort the bike I'll get a day tomorrow to clean the bike rather than ride it back in the rain and uh, do a few bits that I want to do to it so we'll see if we do, I might update it. Oh, there's a castle or something on top of some stones. Oh, is it square? Is it man-made? Can't really see from here. But Simon said there was a nice little road and he's found it. Well, it's like he's found it. He never lost it. You know what I mean? Yeah, it wasn't man-made. I wonder what it is. I'm sure it's on. So yeah, um, either this will be the end of the video, unless something else really exciting happens, uh, or you might catch me hammering down the M4 later back towards Kent so uh, I'll sign off here on what has been an epic trip thoroughly enjoyable so I'll sign off and uh, say my usual if you're riding stay safe if you're not riding well, actually for the trip I oh, should, should be doing that that's what we're trying to we're trying to get this going keep it going people um, yeah if you're riding stay safe if you're not riding watch crap videos uh, as I say, this video I probably will do a little bit, I haven't done it yet, but I will do a bit at the beginning saying that this video isn't uh, any more than just a little bit of a diary for me to remember the trip by. Uh, obviously John Simon can watch it, and uh, probably our, you know, respective families will watch it. So, but if you if you have enjoyed it and you've got any comments, chuck them down below as usual. If not, I'll see you on the next adventure back in Kent of RS about where the thing of beauty that is my 1980 CB250 RS, be it all be it wearing um, a new set of clothes. There's a puddle there. Uh, we'll have a few bits pinched off of the other 250 RS just to make this as the best RS it can be because I plan on keeping this forever. So I'm going to make it the best RS I can be with the other bike. The other bike will then be going. I don't need to, otherwise I'll keep it. And uh, you can follow me in the, what I do with it in future videos. So, 
take care everybody and uh, I'll see you back in Kent for some more RSing about. Oh, I better not switch the camera off as I go around some twisties. These nice little bends, he picked a good route here. Right, catch you later all. It's been, it's been, it's been good. See you soon. Video, but I had to put it back on because um, we're on a cracking little road up here towards Church Stretton. Um, Simon did mention Church Stretton, it didn't ring any bells, but I think we might have done this route before somewhere because it does look familiar. I could be completely wrong, but yeah, over these moors, all this sort of um, whatever it is, it reminds me a bit of a military training area. I'm sure it's not but um, it's quite steep up here very bumpy uh, it's definitely um, it's definitely not a ZX7R route but it's a good little road it's um yeah John would have loved this on his DR what a view eh what a view he said he had a good route he wasn't wrong yeah look at that so yeah, thought I'd chuck the camera back on again because it's worthy of it, very worthy. Um, oh, there's a couple of bikes coming the other way. Three bikes, four bikes, five bikes. I'll leave the camera running, see what they are. They're all going to be big adventure bikes, aren't they? Or are they? It's going to be anything interesting. What do we got? No, big BMW, no. A Triumph, no. Kazaki, no, Ducati, yay, BMW, no. There, there you go. Other guys with a nice little tour. But none of them were the trusty, rusty thing of beauty that's the RS. Oh, look at this muck in the middle of the road. But anyway, yeah, right. Catch you soon, everybody. Take care. Good little road. More bikes going. Honda, VFR. Uh, I don't know what that was. Yamaha and uh, Yamaha, I think. They all look the same, don't they? They sound like an old man. All look bloody same. Take care all. Catch you soon.